This sum was almost wholly managed by Grayscale, whose decade-old Grayscale Bitcoin Trust was converted in its entirety to the GBTC ETF. This was a huge head start over the competition, who started from scratch. So it should come as no surprise that several months after the launch of the ETFs, Grayscale still holds the largest slice of the total AUM. However, what is remarkable is just how quickly Grayscale has been losing ground, especially to BlackRock. By the start of April, the AUM of all of the ETFs had almost doubled, rising to $55.1 billion. This increase was mostly driven by BlackRock's IBA ETF, which mooned all the way to 17 billion AUM, no doubt helped by having lower fees than the competition. Meanwhile, the AUM of Grayscale's GPTC dropped by $7 billion, or almost 25% during the same period. This makes it the only ETF to have seen net outflows in Q1. It doesn't help that GPTC has significantly higher fees than its competitors, but we should also remember that GBTC predates every other ETF. This means that right out of the gates in January, there were GBTC holders in profit who were ready to sell and perhaps to rotate into an alternative with lower fees. In response to this, it appears that Grayscale is preparing to launch another spot Bitcoin ETF, this time with an aggressively low fee of 0.15%. If all else remains equal, this new Grayscale ETF will have the lowest fees on the market after BlackRock's scheduled fee increase to 0.25% in 